What's going on guys? It's been a while since I made a video. Just to give you a heads up, I decided to start taking a coding boot camp at UNCC. And I, I'm actually having my second day. So, I would have tried to make a video the first day, ended up recording the content, and my framing was horrible, so I scrapped all of it. So, sorry, I didn't record the first day for you. But, um, maybe it was better that way anyway, because I've had to focus on, you know, getting to class in time. Uh, so now, today, I am leaving a tad bit early, because for some reason, despite paying a ton of money for the class, we still don't get paid parking. Uh, being that the class is in the middle of the city, and there is no free parking anywhere, obviously it will cost you a lot to pay for parking every month, or every day. Um, so, there's a neighborhood that's about a block away, I'm going to try to leave an hour early, get there early, scout out the neighborhood and find some place I can park without getting towed, so that way we're not paying $8 a day to park for the next three months. So, wish me luck on finding that. Hey guys, welcome back. Second day of boot camp. So far it's been pretty cool. Really fast pace, which I understand because I mean, shoving all his knowledge into like three months, it makes sense that it's intense. Uh, but it's challenging me more than I expect. Normally I have a really good knack for things, like just out the gate, I can hit the ground running and just like pick stuff up really quick. And for the most part, I'm still able to pick stuff up quick in this class, but it's just more challenging than I expected it to. So I do appreciate that. I'm hoping that this does provide me more opportunities in the future to really craft my skill in terms of like my design capability and what I can do when it comes to building websites by having the coding knowledge um, and maybe even get into like software and application development that'd be cool but just want to give you a heads up today we talked about we finished up our, our lessons on HTML and we started getting more into CSS um, obviously two fundamental languages when it comes to building websites so that's definitely a home base for me I really appreciate it because it even brought more understanding the stuff I already knew when it came to designing websites and like how different pieces of code kind of interact with each other to show what you see on the screen whenever you visit a site so that was pretty helpful um, overall I loved it it was, it was great I think that uh, we're definitely going to be going over stuff that's going to be useful um, in and out of web development as a field and uh, I definitely think that if anybody so far is considering taking a boot camp I highly recommend it so far out of the two days I've only I've only experienced two days and I'm already like yeah this is I feel like this is gonna be worth it uh, and I have pretty good confidence in that and it's good to have confidence in your investment coming from somebody who's not super confident when it comes to taking a risk even if it's calculated it's good to, it does it's, it, it's good to be able to feel confident in something that you invest in because you're going to also use that confidence into investing more effort and positive energy to make that investment work out now I mean and that can be applied to anything you know what I'm saying but again so far I think that's been great um, I just wanted to let you guys know hey I, you know I'm on this journey I'm taking a boot camp for those of you who don't know coding boot camp at UNCC uh, Charlotte for three months full-time 10 to 2 Monday through Friday um, and it's pretty intensive but you know what I ain't gonna stop and I'm gonna keep rolling so I just wanted to let you guys know what's happening uh, thank you guys for watching my last video if you did uh, thank you for supporting me and my channel and I definitely wanted to go in a different direction when it comes to how I make content one when it comes to consistency and two when it comes to things that I talk about I mean I definitely want to do a little bit of these vlog style videos just to kind of give updates as to what's going on in my life um, in terms of my career so that way, if there's anybody out there who's like me, younger than me, older than me, who wants to get some insight of what it's like to try and change directions, um, that you get an idea or some sense of like what I'm doing and how that's working out for me. Because I think it's always something, you always see people who will tell you like, oh, you should do this or do that, but you never really get to see like how it happens to them or how it affects their lives in real action or in real time. And I think that's one of the things that I kind of want to be able to provide with this, this playlist of videos that I plan to create kind of documenting my journey through boot camp, learning coding, um, and basically trying to make a forced transition in my career. I've been working in sales for the last four or five years now while I've been doing freelancing, you know, photography, graphic design, and web development on the side, but I really want to go dive in, like full, full dive on in that industry, and I'm kind of done with sales, you know, I mean, it's easy, I like it, it comes natural to me only because I'm pretty good at talking to people. Um, but it's not what I want to do for the rest of my life. And I and I felt that as soon as I started it. And I knew that, you know, I never expected to do sales for this long even. Um, but 
between trying to decide what I was going to major in in college and what path I was going to take. It takes a lot, you know. It takes a lot of decision making and a lot of a lot of soul searching and self awareness to kind of figure out what it is that you really want um, and what it is you're really willing to commit to, you know. Because if I was willing to commit to sales, I could make it far in sales. I don't have any doubt about that. But it's not my desired path. It doesn't make me feel fulfilled. It doesn't make me feel super happy. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's nice to be able to help people sometimes, especially when it comes to the technology. You know, I like helping people. I love technology. Those are two things that I do that I am passionate about. But it's still not the type of passion that I want to make a career out of. I think that's something that people got to recognize too. If you're young or if you're old and you're trying to figure out what you want to do for a career, for to make a living, and you want to be do something that you're passionate about, you could be passionate about a lot of things. I'm passionate about tons of stuff. I'm passionate about art. I'm passionate about video games. I'm passionate about uh, vehicles and cars. I'm passionate about helping people out. I'm passionate about technology and sales. Um, but. I'm not trying to make every one of those passions a career because it's still, while I still enjoy doing it, I wouldn't enjoy doing it 24-7 as uh, to make a living. And I think that's something that people have to think about, you know, when it comes to making your decision of what you want to do because you can work any job. I'm, I grew up with the bootstrap mentality. You suck it up. I'm the working the job, do a job. I'm going to get paid, get my check and go home. But I really decided that I want to have a sense of fulfillment in my life and I think that when it comes to making a decision about your career, you spend most of your life in your career. Like you work most of your hours in a day as compared to spending it at home. I mean, most people do. I don't know if you, you might be staying at home, you might be chilling or whatever, but the way I see it is like, I'm spending eight, 12 hours a day at a job. This is a majority, technically a majority of my life. I need to make sure I enjoy it. I need to make sure I get some sense of fulfillment out of it. Because otherwise, why am I going to spend a half my life or, you know, even like 60% of my life doing something I don't enjoy or get something out of? And I think that's something that I really want to make sure I don't fall into, which is why I'm trying to kick it into it, you know, this early. I feel like I'm late. I'm only 21, but I feel like I'm late. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I, I feel like I should have been making this decision before right when I graduated high school. But, you know... It takes time and I feel like I put a lot of pressure on myself to try and figure out my life you know straight out of high school that's one of the things they tell you when you're in high school nowadays they tell you you got to have your career picked out you got to know what path you're going to take because you're about to invest 60 70 grand in college you better make sure it was worth it I wasn't about that I'm not about student debt I'm not about you know putting myself in debt for no reason so I wasn't in a rush I went to college I went to a technical college first because it was free I took a grant I took financial aid and I let that pay for my college because I wasn't going into debt for two years you know, I'm not, I wasn't going to two years uh, of tuition debt, you know, whether it be, you know, 50 to 60 grand, 20 grand uh, in debt if I wasn't 100% sure or even like 80% sure of what I really wanted to do. And I think it was important that I'm really glad that I didn't do that because I could have gone to College of Charleston. I got accepted to go to um, the Art Institute of Charleston and I was going to go there. That would have been 30 grand a year. I wasn't I wasn't feeling that because like 30 grand a year that's a lot of money man like and I'm trying to think 30 grand a year that's 60 grand in two years no degree probably would have gotten associates I didn't I went to the York Technical College for two years still didn't get an associates not because I couldn't but because I planned to transfer but at the same time associates wouldn't help me in the field that I was trying to go into and I wasn't gonna feel passionate about getting associates and I don't know computer science like what am I gonna do with that I don't know I think that if I would have made that decision, I would have been feeling a little bit worse about myself because right now I've been doing a lot. The last couple of years, I've been I haven't had a real way of like marking my success, you know, because the way I see it, like markers of success in my eyes are obviously you got different markers of different areas in your life for success. You got family, you got career, um, and you got your personal goals and hobbies, you know. And the, my career success, I couldn't, I haven't really felt much of it because my only marker was how much money was in my account I was going by savings how much can I save how much did I save this month how much do I got now at the end of five years I want to have 10,000 or at the end of 20 years I want to have 50 grand like you know what I'm saying it just, it, like that was my milestone was how much money I had in my account and that let, le left me feeling very unfulfilled and felt very bad about myself when I wasn't where I wanted to be where I'm not where I want to be savings wise you know and one of the things I had to learn is that I can't attach my own, not only, of course you can't attach your own value to money, but you can't attach, um, you can't contribute your success to how much money you have. Because while 
they do tend to correlate they're they're not it's not an absolute correlation it doesn't always happen you have plenty of people who don't have a lot of money who are very happy and successful and success and all, I guess that all kind of depends on how you define success whether it be you know in like advancement in your career or just overall fulfillment are you successful by being happy by working you know a minimum wage job by having just enough to live and be able to do what you want I think so I think you're also successful if you have more money than you can ever spend and as long as you're happy and I think one of the things that's gonna make me happy is working a job that I love which is why I decided to jump into this boot camp because while again I don't like student debt and I think it's kinda of, it's scary it's very scary taking a risk of pulling out a Sally May loan for X amount of money and you find out that it's not gonna help you or it wasn't worth it or that you want to change or you don't like it as much as you thought you did so long rant biggest thing I want to say at least in this video is think about your passions think about the passion that you think you could make into a career that you wouldn't mind doing all the time um, that you wouldn't mind investing most of your time in and that you feel like you would get some sort of fulfillment out of because I think that jobs now we're we at least in America I can't speak for everywhere I mean there's plenty of other countries that are very much like us in terms of this privilege but right now I have the privilege to be able to work a job that enables me to get some sort of fulfillment you know if this was a a more impoverished situation where I didn't have any options and the only thing I could do was flip burgers or the only thing I could do was labor work uh, and which I have done already you know if if that was my only option that would be my only option but because I have the option of being able to work a job that gives me some sort of fulfillment I want to make sure I'm investing the time that I have in this life doing something that makes me happy and you should do the same so day two update grace class HTML CSS basic languages if you have any questions leave them in the comments uh, comment section below for me I'll be happy to answer any questions for you guys but um, make sure you think about what it is you really want and make sure you think about the things that you that, that would bring you happiness and fulfillment because that's what's gonna matter when you're spending all your time doing it but anyways thanks for watching guys I hope to see you next time I'll make another video probably tomorrow I'm not, I don't know if I make this a daily vlog thing because daily vlogs are cumbersome and I'm running around all the time I'm working part time and doing this, so like I'll get I'm in class from 10 to 2, and then I'll go straight to work at 3 and work to like 8 8 30, which isn't a lot of hours, but Monday through Friday and on weekends it can kind of be a lot. And trying to find time to record and then edit, it may I'm not gonna promise I can do it every day, but I'm gonna try and at least do it a couple times a week so that way you guys get some insight as to what I'm learning. There's to you know determine the own value for yourself if it's worth investing in. Um, I'll give you updates on what I'm learning and I'll give you updates on how I feel about it as we go along. That way you can kind of go along this journey with me and figure out, hey, maybe I'm interested in this, maybe I'm not. But I hope you get something out of it because I do want to help people and I feel like I can use YouTube as a platform to do so, even if it's just to provide a little insight for people who are like me, you know, who are just looking for as much information as possible to try and come up with an educated decision on what they want to do with their life. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time.